There's a book that you can buy, published by Maktabat al-Ma'arif in Riyadh, written by the scholar, the Shaykh Hamoud ibn Abdullah ibn Hamoud al-Tawajiri, rahimahullah ta'ala, may Allah have mercy on him, known as Hamoud al-Tawajiri. The book is called Isbatu Ulu Illahi wa Mubayanatihi li khalqihi, the establishing the loftiness of Allah Ta'ala, that He is above everything, and that He is separate from His creation. And it is a refutation, the book is also a refutation against someone who would assume, against someone, he, spec- he actually intends someone, that has assumed that Allah's ma'iyya, Allah's ma'iyya means Him being with you, or being with His creation. That it is that he, that is with his actual presence. When we say that Allah is with the patient people, that Allah Ta'ala is with uh, those whom he loves, we mean with support and assistance and defense. And when we say Allah Ta'ala is with you wherever you are, we mean by way of his knowledge and his hearing and his seeing. None of that escapes Allah Ta'ala. But when we refer to the that of Allah, or the actual presence of Allah, we say that Allah Ta'ala Himself is above the creation, and He is not with His creation, be that He, not through His actual self, but rather through His hearing, His sight, through His knowledge, and so on. He is with His creation, He is not with them with His that, rather, he himself is above his creation, separate from his creation, not within his creation. That was the intention of the title of the book. Now, the one that he's refuting, pay attention, the one who Sheikh Hamoud al tawajir is refuting is a great man of Ahl sunnah who made a big error with this issue, with this expression and with this, uh, with this issue. And that man's name was Muhammad ibn Salih al-Uthaymin, rahimahullah ta'ala. He was Shaykh ibn Uthaymeen. Our Shaykh erred. Our Shaykh erred in an important issue of Aqidah. And he used to say, he used to say that the Ma'iyah of Allah is Thatiyah. It's with his actual self. That Allah Ta'ala is with us with his actual presence. And that, while we love our Shaykh ibn Uthaymeen, that was and remains to be the statement of the Hululiyah. The people who say Allah is mixed in with his creation, or Allah dwells within his creation. Allah Ta'ala has uh, appeared, or he exists within the created realm. And this is a statement of disbelief, a statement of apostasy, a statement of rejecting the book and the sunnah. And that's the point of the book. The book is to clarify that. The book was written 150 pages or more. All of this exposing the falsehood of the statement of our Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al-Uthaymeen. Our Shaykh, walhamdulillah, met Allah without a trace of this belief with him. How is that? He recognized the truth of the correction. He recognized what his critic had held him on. And his critic held him with some very st- uh, harsh words, calling him sahib al-qawl al-batil the guy with a false statement. Can you imagine someone referring to our Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al-Uthaymeen as the guy with a false statement? And of course this is for the ulama. This is another alim in his time referring to him with that. Why? To show that there is no mercy and no leniency for this kind of statement and those who would hold it. Now Ibn Uthaymeen, just to clarify, he never explained the meaning behind his mistaken phrase. He would say that the ma'iya of Allah, that Allah is with you, be that he. But when he explained it, he would explain it with the explanation of Ahl Sunnah. So his mistake was not actually in his belief, but in the expressions that he chose for this belief. With that, it was a mistake and it needed to be corrected. So Shaykh Hamoud at Tawajiri, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, who was known for precision in his research and strong refutations, he wrote a refutation of our Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al-Uthaymeen. Shaykh ibn Baz, rahimahullah ta'ala, endorsed the book. 
and used to uh, encourage the people to read the book in the lifetime of Ibn Uthaymin before he retracted. So Ibn Uthaymin requested a copy of the book from Sheikh bin Baz. Beautiful story, Ikhwan. He read the book. It's a book criticizing him directly with every f- level of frankness, directness. No punches held. Clarification from the book, the sunnah, the companions, the tabi'een, the imams of the deen, that that statement that he has been teaching is falsehood. He read it and he requested that the book not be published without his statement in that book. A statement of what? Confusion, mixing up the issues, or a statement of pure Salafi clarification. And that's what it was, Ikhwan. He wrote an endorsement for the book. It will make you cry because we love this man so much. And this is why we love him so much. Wallahi, this should bring tears to your eyes. That this was our Sheikh and he erred. And our Sheikh loved the truth. And he did not want to err. But, Qadr Allah, that's what happens. Ulama make mistakes. We love our Sheikh and we don't need to, to brush this under the rug. We're naftakhir bihada, wallah. This is a source of honor and pride for the Salafis that our Sheikh Muhammad ibn Salah Uthaymeen made a mistake, a big one, and he handled it like a man. He handled it like the imams of those who came before him. An exemplary rectification. Every Salafi should brag about his Sheikh ibn Uthaymeen. يَفْتَخِرْ بِهِ An imam of the haqq in every sense of the word. وَلَا نُزَكِّ عَلَى اللَّهِ أَحَدًا وَهَكَذَا نَحْسِبُهُ This is how we see him and we praise no one above Allah Ta'ala. May Allah Ta'ala have mercy on him. He writes, بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah Ta'ala, the most merciful, the all merciful. الحمد لله رب العالمين This is the writing that he asked to be in the book of Sheikh Hamoud refuting himself. This is the writing, this is the foreword, or the, you could call it a, uh, an appendix if you want. It's printed in the back of the book, on page 156. The version I have in front of my hands that has reached the people. He wanted his clarification printed with the book. He wrote, in the name of Allah, praising Allah, sending salat and salam on the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amma ba'd, as for what follows, فَقَدْ طَلَبَ الشَّيْخِ uh, Afwan, this is the, the wording of Sheikh Hamoud introducing that. Let me skip to the next page, which is page number 157, which the words of Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen begin. He, get, he begins with the Basmala and uh, Khutbat al Haja, or what resembles close to the Khutbat al Haja. And then he says, Wabad, Fakad Karatu al Kitab. As for what follows, I have read the book, Alladi Allafahu Akhun al Fadil al Sheikh Hamoud ibn Abdullah al Tawajiri. I have read the book written by our virtuous brother, the Sheikh Hamoud ibn, Abd- ibn Abdullah at tuwajiri Look at his respect for the people of the truth. Look at his respect for his critic. Look at the honor of our Sheikh in the way of Allah. He says, فِي إِثْبَاتِ عُلُوِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَمُبَايَنَتِهِ لِخَلْقِهِ وَالرَّدِّ عَلَى مَنْ زَعَمَ أَنَّ مَعِيَةَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى لِخَلْقِهِ مَعِيَةٌ ذَاتِيَ I read the book and he names the book. فَوَجَدْتُهُ كِتَابًا قَيِّمًا قَرَّرَ فِيهِ مُؤَلِّفُهُ الْحَقَائِقَ التَّالِيَةِ I've found this book to be uh, an exemplary book or a valuable book. And the author has proven in it or has developed the argument in it for the following issues. And he mentions basically what could be like the main points. رُؤُسَ الْأَقْلَامِ And then he says, SubhanAllah, after that I'm on page 158 in the middle. وَكُلُّ مَا قَرَّرَهُ فَهُوَ حَقٍّ Everything he has written and, and proven and established is حق. It's the truth. Note, this is in exact contradiction to what he used to teach. Look at the humbleness of those whom Allah has raised. فَعُلُوَ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى عَلَى خَلْقِهِ بِذَاتِهِ وَصِفَاتِهِ دَلَّ عَلَيْهِ الْقُرْآنُ فِي آيَاتٍ مُتَعَدِّدًا and he goes on to support that argument. The loftiness of Allah Ta'ala above His creation, bidatihi, with His actual presence and His attributes is proven in the book in many different verses and, in, uh, and so on. And he goes on to support the argument. 
And then he ends with these kinds of words here. And I'm going I'm skipping here to page one sixty one, right at the end. Where he says, Wabutalan ul kawli bil hululi ma'lumun bid dilala, bidilala til kitabi was sunnah, wal akli wal fitrati wal ijma, and the falsehood of those who speak with hulul, those who say that Allah is mixed in with his creation, is well known with proofs from the book, the sunnah, intellect, or good solid human intellect, fitra, um uh, intuition and consensus of the scholars. Wadalika and that's because to hold the position of the hululiyah that Allah is within his creation is entirely against the position that is correct that Allah is above his creation فَإِذَا كَانَ عُلُوُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى بِذَاتِهِ وَصِفَاتِهِ ثَابِتًا بِهَذِهِ الْأَدِلَّةِ كَانَ نَقِيضُهُ بَاطِلًا بِهَا so if it is proven that Allah, through His actual presence, is lofty and above everything and His attributes, then if that is established then this, with these evidences, then that proves that the opposite understanding is falsehood. Look how clear it gets. وَإِنْكَارُ الْقَوْلِ بِالْمَعِيَّةِ الذَّاتِيَّةِ وَاجِبٌ And to reject, to detest and reject the statement that Allah's ma'iyya is ذَاتِيَّةِ And that's His old statement. To reject it is wajib, is an obligation. حيث تستلزم القول بالحلول Since it necessitates the position of the hululiyah, or saying that Allah is within His creation. لأن القول بالحلول باطل And the statement of hulul, the position of believing that Allah is within His creation, is sheer falsehood. فَكُلُّ مَا اسْتَلْزَمَهُ فَهُوَ بَاطِلٌ And everything that would lead to that or lead a person into having that position is also falsehood. يَجِبُ إِنْكَارُهُ وَرَدُّهُ عَلَىٰ قَائِلِهِ كَائِنًا مَنْ كَانْ And it is an obligation to reject it and, and return it back on the person who spoke it. To reject it and to not accept it from the person who said it no matter who he is. He's referring to himself, the one who used to say that. And he ends with, وَأَسْأَلُ اللَّهَ تَعَالَىٰ أَنْ يَجَعَلَنَا جَمِيعًا مِنَ الْمُتَّعَاوِنِينَ عَلَى الْبِرِّ وَالتَّقْوَىٰ وَأَنْ يُهَيِّئَ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا رُشْدًا وَأَنْ يَنْصُرَنَا بِالْحَقِّ وَيَجَعَلَنَا مِنْ أَنْصَارِهِ إِنَّهُ وَلِيُّ ذَارِكَ الْقَادِرُ عَلَيْهِ وَهُوَ الْقَرِيبُ الْمُجِيبُ And I ask Allah, the Most High, to make us all people who cooperate upon bir and taqwa, upon righteousness and piety, and to allow our to make our affair an affair of right guidance, and to aid us upon the truth, and to make us from those who aid it and support it, for He is the one who is responsible for that, and the one who is capable of doing that, of answering that request, and He is the one who is close, and the one who answers supplications. Qalahu. كاتبه محمد الصالح العثيمين. It was written by the one who wrote it, Muhammad al-Salih al-Uthaymin. And that was written on the year, on the day, uh, the 15th day of the fourth month, in the year 1404. Naam. And this is printed along with the book, subhanAllah. As you can see, here's our example. Let's stop quoting the names of Ibn Uthaymin and Ibn Baz without following their menhaj. Let's stop the lip service. Let's stop saying, oh, the great scholars Ibn Uthaymin and Ibn Baz. Let's follow their teachings. Let's follow their, their grounded menhaj, the menhaj of the salaf, the menhaj of the scholars, the rightly guided scholars throughout history. Yusuf Estes, if he wants to cooperate upon bir and taqwa, I am perfectly willing to publish in the PDF a foreword in the front of the book, written to aid the haq only, not to save his name, not to save the reputation, not to continue his teachings, but if he wishes to free himself from the great burdens that he's heading towards with Allah Ta'ala and clean up this mess, then I and I believe every person of Ahlul Sunnah from the Salafis, they are all ready to cooperate and allow Yusuf Estes to do his part by saying a word, and that's it, 
a word of support for the refutations being written to help him clear his name in front of Allah to help him with his account in front of Allah not to clear his name in this life this invitation is wide open for those of you who are around Yusuf Estes and you are Muslim and you love Allah's deen and you love Yusuf Estes let this be your advice to him a deen nasiha the religion of Allah is nasiha pure beautiful good sincere advice convey that nasiha that is an obligation on you to work with the people who are clarifying the errors so that the people can be upon clarity in their deen and do not put your reputation in front of the deen of Allah hadha wallahu a'lam sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wassalamu alaykum and this recording was completed on the morning of Sunday, the 22nd of Shawwal, 1433.